All right, guys, so here we are. I got to give out some a shout out to Tom Mulner at Mulner Technologies. I mean, the guy hooked me up with a, a tube of this extreme pressure lube, free of charge. Got it here like basically overnight. I know we're close to Michigan, but that's customer service. So thanks, Tom. So I'll tell you where we're at right now. <clears throat> what, what sucks is the fact that I had already put this together with Molly Grease or the ARP Ultra Torque Lube and torqued it all to 80 foot pounds. And then if you remember me talking about it, I found out that that's not the right way to go about it. So what I'm doing is now is taking all the rod bolts out and retorquing them with the bolt stretch method. I'm going to show you that actual. I kind of showed you how I did it in the other video, but this is going to be real time. Um, but yeah, thanks for that, Tom. So here's a rod bolt stretch gauge. I told you I got this from Benchmark Bob. It was like 50 bucks. Um, I had already cleaned everything up. The bearing cap is back in place. And they go by a sheet. They give you a sheet when you get motor rods so that you can check this. And it goes by the tang side versus the non-tang. And I wrote on here NT for non-tang just so I can remember where I'm at. And then I measure the bolt ahead of time before I put it in there in regards to the length of the bolt. Because that's something to pay attention to when you take them out and recheck them and see if they lengthen. So... The gauge has to be accurate. It's got to be zero degrees when you go to put it in there, meaning the bolt in relation to ship to the dial indicator should be on zero degrees. So I put the bolt in there. And like I said, there's a tang in here that this pin fits in and the same with the bolt. And you can see it's spinning like that. It's right on zero. So that tells me that gauge is good for that. Same here, I put the other bolt in, I measured the length, it's in there now and it reads zero. So when I tighten that up with a stretch method, I'm gonna tighten it up until it's 6,000, six to 65. And then we'll know when we read it here, how many thousandths it is when we torque it down. Now I never used this extreme pressure lube, so hopefully it's not as messy as the ARP stuff, which is basically garbage, is what I find out. But I'm not messing with the mains, I'm not taking that apart, you know. I asked Tom about that, he, you know, he doesn't deal with the mains or the head bolts or studs. But they're like any fastener, they have a lifespan, so that's something to pay attention to. So I got the tangs, the non-tang side. So it is pretty thick. You know, how much do you need? I don't know. I figure you just cover the threads. Just like the Molly. It's a little bit neater to put on. You gotta remember, when you're putting that bolt in there and turning the threads, it's getting on the threads. And then, you can almost put it right on the rod, but I'll put it on the bottom of the bolt. And I had cleaned all the rod, mating cap surfaces, everything. It's not too bad compared to that other ARP stuff. Little bead on there, kind of spread it around. You know, you can only put so much on it. I don't think more is always better in these cases. But Less is not good either, so you figure that part out on your own. Now it's the same procedure as I did before. You know, I'm going to snug it up. It's got a different feel to it, that's for sure. More, it is, it's smoother actually. And I can see a little of it being expressed as I tighten the cap mating surfaces down. Hand tight, I can see the parting surface go right together. No issue. Yep. So I'll snug it a little bit. And then I'll put in my feeler gauge. That. 
Now I'll still do the same thing. I'll put it at like 25 pounds, which is like my lowest setting. I'll do 30. And I know I'm doing something to it. And you know, 30 is not that tight. One smooth torque. And then here's the deal. Do I go to 80 where I know it's too loose or do I go to 85 and take that chance? Now with a different lube on it, I think I'm going to just try 80 and see where we're at. There's 80 right there. Check it again. Man, I can tell you that's that's a different feel than with that Molly. I don't feel that gritty feeling. And that's 80. Correct mundo. Now we'll take the gauge and we'll put it in there and we'll measure. This is the non-tang side. And right there is four thousandths. And that's at 80 foot pounds. So I need six or 65. So you can tell that's loose right there. We'll measure the other one. So you saw that. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can measure the other one. The thing about this gauge is it can fit in there. I saw that other ARP gauge. That thing looked pretty bulky. And I don't like the way this feels. I think I need to come up a little bit with this. Rod, just a tiny bit difference, just because I don't like the way that feels. There. And that's it. That's it, three thousandths. So those are off. So now here's the trick, and this is the, the issue that you got to get a feel for it. And that's how far to go. So in this case, I'm kind of guessing until I figure it out, get one right, then I'll know how far to go. So here I'm going to just come a little bit more. Nice steady pull. And it moved a little bit. Let's see what it does. Now we're at about about four. So now I know I need to move it a little bit more than what I did to get some motion. But it doesn't take much once you get to that point, and that's where you gotta get that deal with feeling it. I'd rather do it ten times not enough than one time over. Now we're almost five. A little bit more. Sometimes it takes a little bit, and that's you got to feel that tang. And that's at five right now. So 
So now you do it one more time. Let's see. This is the part that's kind of worrisome. Then you can feel it. There we go. And I'll tell you, that's right at, it's almost six. Let me work on this side and then we'll remeasure them. Okay, so here's the one. I did it a little bit more. Six thousandths. That's where it stays. We'll do the other one and I'll give you a quick picture of that one too. Now we'll do the same thing. I don't know if I measured this, but let's measure it quick. Now this one's at four. So the same thing here, we'll snug that one up. Like I said, I'd rather go too many times, than one time too tight. I'll tell you, that's perfect.